Okay, can you hear me? Yes, of course. Okay. Keep going. Yes, Dr. Hong and uh, uh, Dr. Everard, and we prepared the trans apical case, and uh, I think uh, this is a real hot team procedure. Uh, I, I believe that this case uh, live demonstration is a signature live demonstration this year at the AP meeting. So uh, I'm going to present the patient background. And uh, uh, first of all, we're going to introduce our team is Professor Ju, cardiac surgeon, in the standby. Professor Kim is cardiac surgeon, is a standby, and uh, Professor Gang, interventional cardiologist, and me and the, uh, any other uh, fellow is uh, come together. So uh, I'm gonna start pa uh, patient background. 80 year old female was admitted for dyspnea functional crest two. Sure. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, 80 year uh, old female and uh, uh, hospitalized for dyspnea. Uh, she had a history of uh, hypertension and uh, atrial fibrillation, echocardiography showed uh, severe degenerative AS. And uh, one of the interesting things is this patient nearly uh, 15 years ago, the 2005, received uh, bypass surgery uh, using 4 plus 1 and Rima 2 LAD and uh, some arterial graft and SVG to PDA. And next one. So, and the uh, background, uh, hypertension and hyperepidemia, bypass surgery, 82-year female, and STS score is uh, 3.5, and the main co uh, complaint is uh, dyspnea, next one. So, and the ejection fraction slightly uh, decreased to 43, AVA is very tight, 0.5, mean gradient was 41, and uh, Vmax was uh, 4.3. And then next one, and all, all coronary angiogram shows the very patent Rima 2 LAD graft and the uh, arterial graft was uh, patent and the SVG graft was patent. And the uh, ECG shows the atrial fibrillation. And next one. X-ray will show some cardiomegaly. And next one. Uh, looking at the, our CT algorithm, short diameter is 24 and the long diameter 30, slightly elliptical. And next one. So, and the sinus of Valsalva is slightly narrow, 1.44, but it doesn't matter, and the, the, this patient already uh, underwent bypass surgery, and the ST junction, 1.12 ratio, and next one. And the LVOT uh, ratio is slightly small, is 0 0.80, and next one. Uh, looking at the total calcium volume is not, not much high, it's 292, it's just a small amount of the calcium. Next one, uh, this is, shows the calcium distribution, and next one. And the uh, coronary height is sufficient, the left is 13.5, right is 22, but uh, uh, all patent uh, graft, and next one. The reason why we select the uh, trans apical, that is the, you know, sh the definitely the most of the people is understand why we choose the trans apical. <coughs> and the, we should show the sagittal view of uh, aorta and the, there is a very shaggy motion, atherosclerosis, uh, diffuse atherosclerosis, uh, uh, you know, the whole of the artery, especially ascending aorta and descending aorta, proximal part, you can see the very uh, severe atherosclerotic plaque burden, you know, some that was definitely mostly high risk of uh, uh, thromboembolism during the top of procedure. And next one, this is a peripheral, is good. The, uh, the uh, you know, the uh, femoral artery is good. Next one. And uh, this is a trans apical consideration. And on the basis of the CT scanning, we point out the uh, trans apical, the point out. And the, uh, the could you show T, yes. Dr. Kim? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you see the echo image right now? Uh, this is your, uh, can you see? No, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Not, yet? not yet? Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, but uh, this, Keep is, going. Uh, this is the uh, echo image from trans echo. Uh, can you see the fingers of surgeon's finger? This mm -hmm. is a predetermined puncture site right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, this is a. a, a it as for the long axis view, you can, uh, every function looks good. Uh, you can see a heavily calcified and stenotic aortic valve right here. A magnified view on color flow window, uh, trace AR. 
in short X view, you can see your uh, tricus morphology and uh, heavily stenotic uh, LT file right here. Uh, every function looks good. Uh, functional MR uh, was trivial. Mm -mm. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we already the puncture the trans apical Professor Ju, could you comment? Uh, you know, how do you select the puncture site? How do you approach? Uh, how yes. do you open the chest wall? Yes. Could you? So um, in a uh, preoperative uh, evaluation, um, the the biggest help. Uh, was from the um, uh, CT, uh, CT image on axial view. We counted down from the first rib down to where the apex uh, uh, seemed to lie. And uh, we found that um, the f for this patient, this patient had some cardiomegaly and a transverse lying uh, heart so that it, the apex seemed a little bit elevated. So um, the optimal intercostal space we found was um, uh, uh, going through the fourth intercostal space and uh, very lateral wide. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's where we made the incision mm -hmm. and we entered through the fourth intercostal space. Mm -hmm. And once we uh, were able to expose and access the um, apical surface, mm -hmm. we, we confirmed through echocardiography that uh, indeed that was where um, the, um, the ideal mm -hmm. uh, site for the uh, entry was. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, any any question, any comment uh, until now uh, from the uh, Madhuri? This is uh, the, the highlight of the uh, this live demonstration courses. Yeah, there yeah. Is, uh, I think it's a lot of the, the discussion about mm -hmm. the, this patient. Yeah, uh, so I, I would like a, to add David Cohen. Add one I think more. it's a great. Oh, okay. One, one more oh. comment. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, um, so please. right now we already put in the um, the eight eight, eight French like sheath, uh, and uh, uh, we passed the um, uh, stiff wire, uh, uh, but uh, we, we did things a little differently this, this time because um, uh, this patient had an issue of very severe um, uh, uh. atherosclerosis mm -hmm. and shaggy aorta. Mm -hmm. So what we did was uh, we, we passed a soft five yeah. French yeah. Um, uh, pigtail mm -hmm. down into descending mm -hmm. aorta first, mm -hmm. and, then, and then we passed the, mm -hmm. um, the yeah. stiff wire. Yeah. So initially puncture using okay. the femoral artery, the, the needle, and then the path through the, uh, you know, soft wire, and then the seven French sheets, and then, you know, by your seven French sheets, uh, we uh, pass the soft wire to descending aorta, and then to follow the uh, right coronary, uh, the, uh, the catheter, and then we exchange it to uh, steep wire. Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, we need a uh, discussion about uh, this mm. patient. Okay, got, really it. okay got it. Okay, got it. Yeah. So uh, uh, this is David Cohen. I think it's a. I mean, clearly the aorta is horrible. Um, you know, uh, hostile aorta. I think is what we call mm -hmm. that in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think some sort of alternative access is definitely uh, appropriate. Uh, you know, the the choice is then. Uh, you know, and it's so a, a, a trans cable would not be good mm -hmm. because you're still going in the ascending aorta. Mm -hmm. So you really are left with a, uh, you know, a, a, a right subclavian approach because mm -hmm. you don't want to jeopardize the lima um, or a, a, a trans carotid approach. Mm -hmm. uh, we, would have, we would do this 100% via trans carotid. Mm -hmm. um, maybe next year I come back and we'll do a trans carotid case mm -hmm. uh, uh, together. Uh, they actually go very, very nicely, but mm -hmm. I'm... I'm uh, confident you guys can do a great job with the transapical yeah, yeah. case. It's just uh, uh, uh. We, we always, we, I will say, you know, we did many of those in the early days. Yeah, right, Our cases right. were transapical. Um, but we uh. learned a lot of respect for the apex. It's yeah, not, right, not an always right. an easy place to operate. Yeah, so is as a comment from yeah. the panel, panelist. The selection of the, the uh, transapical for the, this patient was already done is a bypass surgery, but the, when, I, when I look at the, the uh, CT image, mm -hmm. so the main atherosclerosis was distributed to the, the aortic arch, mm -hmm. this, uh, distal to the, the, uh, the carotid, right carotid artery. So the another option is uh, the, instead of the, the uh, transapical, what about the direct aortic, ascending aortic approach? Could you show um, us uh, the uh, uh, okay, slide? Okay, okay, we have a comment. Okay. Yes, okay, there's if actually I can, if there I can is just a address uh, that question. Uh. So uh, actually, we did consider the, um, the trans aortic through the ascending aorta, but in reviewing the CT, 
the saphenous vein graft seemed to be a little, little bit high and in close proximity to where we, we would uh, puncture the aorta, plus uh, the fact that this, this patient is a redo, uh -huh. and so uh, uh, we, we didn't want, and this also being a live case, we didn't want to, um, and to uh, expect any surprises. So we felt that in this case, the transapical approach would be safer. Yeah, yeah. So as you mentioned, the David Regional. Cohen is David Correct. Cohen is comment on the trans uh, carotid. Is a the interventional cardiologist is concerned about the, you know during the trans apical puncture. Is there any some concern about the limb damage and something like that? Uh, not really. So mm -hmm. the, um, the the puncture site is uh, far distal to where mm -hmm. the limb to LED mm -hmm. uh, was made. Yeah. 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 I think. I mean. I think the main benefit of a of a carotid approach in this case is the recovery, which is. You know, with carotid access is very similar to mm. uh, uh, transfemoral. It's a very benign incision. It's like a carotid endarterectomy incision, but just lower in the neck. Um, and uh, the, obviously, when you enter the chest, you have chest tubes at the end and um, all the, the, you know, some pain and things like that. So it's, um, but I think you need to be, you, you, you need to be good at one of these. That's for sure, um, because mm. there, these, these cases come up uh, and you need to have a good, a good approach. It's not just about... Uh, getting through the legs. You could obviously get through the legs here, but the risk of uh, systemic embolization looks very substantial. Yeah, right. So, and we're going to proceed and the next step, okay, the, we're going to try to insert the schist. Okay. The, okay. You know, the true primary operator is a cardiac surgeon, is that Professor Kim and Professor Ju, and we try to insert, this is a 21 French uh, issues, short issues for transapical. Okay. So come right up to where the puncture site would be. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, I have one question about uh, the uh, echocardiographic images. Uh, is there any septal hypertrophy of the dispatient in the TE image? No, no, no. Can you see the post-sensor? Uh, Okay, so uh, let's snare down a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. The trans uh, carotid approach is a quite uh, fantastic approach in the, this kind of patient. The, 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 the one point is that the usually the patient age is 82, and the bypass surgery is that the percentage of the, the disease in the carotid might, might be a deal. Okay, great. Now, so, 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 you know, the, 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 yeah. And David and I have talked a little bit about the, 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 the access situation. Um, I, looking at this, I'm just thinking, when did we do the last transapical approach? I mean, it was such a long time ago. Uh, that's actually interesting to see <laughs> a little bit of a revival. The problem with that is, David, if you, if you do alternative approaches, and in 98% you're able to do transfermal, you really don't have much experience with the alternative, be it subclavian, but it's the most one, but transcarotid, um, you know, if you don't, if, if you haven't done it before, it's not a, never a good thing to just do it maybe once or twice. No, I think the, I think what happens, again, what has happened at our center, um, because we don't, we are not super aggressive about pushing the femoral. We don't, I mean, there are many centers that will do almost anything to avoid it. Like um, us. We do, yeah, and we, but we do to alternative access in 10% of our cases because we will do almost anything to avoid, you know, traumatizing the femoral artery to try to hash the so, you know, If they have a questionable femoral, we're very comfortable with the, the carotid approach because our experience has been good. But I think it's it's not for everybody. What I will say about the question about the okay, the um, insertion of the bell uh, and the then the aeration where we access for this is the common carotid below the bulb, almost never atmosphere. Amazingly. Um, very, straight. very clean. Okay. Uh, personally, uh, I heard that uh, some of the, the uh, cardiac surgeon, okay. the endovascular, the, he had the experience of the hundred okay. of the, the, the carotid and the uh, uh, mm -hmm. So he said that the usually uh, for us, the preference carotid uh, approach uh, for the tabi is a very fearful. It's uh, just that the, what, what does he mean? Uh, but because it is not for the million. So, million. so, 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 so I use the but the, his comment is, uh, I have a lot of experience carotid uh, and artery. Uh, he said, uh, he said that uh, carotid artery uh, is a location uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, <laughs> surgeon <laughs> said that uh, it is quite easier to uh, have uh, a lot of experience uh, 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 And then what I, I really surprised and shocked is, uh, 
피스코프라는 분 맞아? 자, 테스트. I hope they are getting ready to go to the Belfort Rock. Okay, guys, 좋아. 자, 피그텔 조금만 뺄까? 피그텔 조금만 빼세요. 피그텔. Looks very good. Okay, 테스트 살짝. Okay. 자, 조금만 더. 자, 오케이. 준비됐지? 자, 자 함, 함, 합니다. 자, 천천히 제 말에 잘 들어. 자, 신의 발바. 자, 페이싱어. 컨트라스트. 오케이. 인플레이. 쭉. 원, 투, 쓰리, 포, 파이브. 디플렛. 오케이. 페이싱 오프. 오케이. 잘 봐. 천천히. 페이싱 오프. 천천히. 오케이. 페이싱 오프. 자, 딱 잡고 있고 천천히. 아, 자, 여기서 여기 다 됐지. 이거 같이 뺄게요. 자, 천천히 뺄게요. 자, 좋아요. 아주 좋아. 오케이, 쿠쥬 쿠쥬 씨, the echo echo image T first, and we decide to one more, you know, high pressure. Okay. 한번 T 한번 봐주시겠어요? What valve? This was a twenty-six. Okay, we got yeah. This is twenty-nine, and twenty-nine. Yes. Eleven percent oversizing. Eleven percent oversizing. How about the the T? Just a trivial. Trivial? Uh, yeah, it's like 11. I need some more time. Okay, Propeski. So in Korea, nobody's using, nobody's using uh, protection, uh, Colorado protection, right? Yeah, not yet available, but... Uh, yeah. uh, I think yeah, just mild. The, just uh, mild? Uh, yeah. Devices, but in the selective can you see, cases, uh, okay, can you see the T image over there? Totally yes, we see the T. Yeah, okay. Less than yeah, mild. Just a mild. Okay, we're gonna yeah, check yeah. the angle. The floor row, hago. The zoom. The floor row, 먼저 보고. Floor row. 자, 이게 줌한 거지. 자, 저기를 피그텔 조금만 더는 뭐 어디 있어? TV. 들어 들어가 있어. 자, 거기 딱 피그텔 잡고 있고. 자, 갑니다. Okay. 자, pull shot. Angle. Pull shot. Okay. I think it's just a mild. Mild. Yeah. The PBL and the. Mm. Is there mm. some uh, renewal PBL via uh, the wire or uh, not a uh, wire in this AR? Uh, uh. Just the PBL. We got sizing or mud through the age. 11%. We got a little bit. See, this is this is when we come to PBL judgment. You know, somebody says mild, somebody says moderate, yeah, somebody yeah, says yeah. whatever. <laughs> you know, subject. The T is pretty much the gold standard, I think. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Can you see uh, the PBL at nine o'clock? Okay, okay, got it. We're gonna do one well, CC. a little bit more than mild. Yeah, I yeah have it's mild yeah, to moderate. One CC. One CC. Yeah, it's mild to at least yeah. mild to moderate. Maybe two two extra CCs. Six up two CCs. Seventy-two. Then two CCs. Two CCs. Two CCs. Two CCs. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do two CC. So you're gonna do post dilate? Yes. Yeah. 17%. Uh, I'm gonna uh, do two CC overfill. Okay, two CC overfill. Oh, okay. Yeah. 아까 two CC overfill 한 거였어 그게? 그러면 one CC만 더 하세요. Okay, got it. Yeah. Either like yeah. echoing the less aggressively. Yeah. So we we're gonna do just one CC overfill. When you when you look at the, the angiogram in the lower side. Beyond the uh, Sapien 3, and now try to the less aggressive. So far, it is uh, not 100% satisfactory, mm -hmm. but the okay. I think it's uh, acceptable, reasonable. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. the, do you think the left main also is okay? Don't worry, I surgeon, think the surgeon left main is uh, <laughs> necessary <laughs> because of the, the bypass. Okay. 자, 요거 요거 조금 잡고 있고, 자 와이어, 와이어 잘 잡고. So far, how many cases of uh, uh, did you have experience the in the uh, 70% is, uh, of almost the transapical? Um, yeah, almost 10. Yeah. yeah, yeah, almost 10. Is that the procedure, the, pr the success rate is uh, nearly 100%. Okay. So why you touch up, 
자, 조금만 더 들어가고 에어레이션 할게요. 자, 에어레이션, 디에어레이션. 자, 플로로. 자, 밟고 있죠? 자, 피그셀 조금만 더 빼. 뒤로. 자, 요게 지금 팁이 보이는 데가 더 들어가야죠? 여기 이제. 자, 준비됐지? 자, 오케이. 페이시, 자, 찐어, 시네 찍어. 자, 페이싱 온. 자, 인플레이. 쭉. 원, 투, 쓰리, 포, 파이브. 디플릿. 오케이. 페이싱 오프. 오케이. 자, 와이어 잘 잡고 있고. 자, 천천히. 와이, 자, 와이어. 와이어 너무 텐션 걸리면 안 돼. I think we need to do a randomized trial of 3 v s 5. In the United States we do 3 seconds. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, 1 2 3. 1 2 3. 1 2 3. 1 2 3. 1 2 3. That's. Okay, I think we do we did everything. Oh, yeah. In Azan they sing, you know. Okay. You Could you check the T again? Yeah, the P we are uh, much reduced. Much reduced. Yeah, many okay, central right, right right now. Yeah. Okay, got it. I right. agree. Okay, much reduced. Yeah. Okay, let's test the size. Less than mine. Still a little there. Okay, that's. 이거 와이어 그냥 빼도 되죠? 다 빼고 한번 찍어 보지 마. 어차피 와이어 빼도 되니까. 자, 실수만 놔두고 우리 잠깐만 천천히 와이어 빼고 깨끗하게 한번. 왜? 어? 뭐라? 테르모로 바꾸고. 테르모로. 아 그래? 테르모로 바꾸고 뺄까? 오케이. 그때 그렇게 하기로. 오케이. 오케이. 자 그러면. Okay, we're gonna. That is a safe. Yeah, there is a. To prevent the, the embolization of the, the oh. arthroscopy okay, from the. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. The arch. Okay. Ja. And then insert the right coronary. Okay, put a catheter. Okay. Uh, and then we exchange it to the. Ja, 천천히. Ja, 잡고. Ja, 보면서. Ja, 아직. So you're placing a catheter to remove yeah, the wire? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because they don't do yeah, anything. Yeah, I mean. Thermo. Yeah. Thermo. Like 해서 Thermo로 한 번에 다 빼고 파이널 찍자. Okay. Is the left person is a professor holding him. He's a double proctoring cardiac surgeon. 자, 밑에. 자, 그래서 좀 뺄게. 됐지? 자, 한 번에 쭉 뺄게요, 같이. 네. 자, 쭉. 자, 잘 잡고 계세요, 선생님. 네. 됐다. 자, 오케이. 줌, 줌 이제 하고, 파이널 잠 찍어보자. 피그텔 좀 가까이 놓고. 어디? 안 보여. 다 가까이 갔어? 오케이, 엔조 레디. 자, 풀샷. 풀샷. 오. How do you? Do you, do you satisfy? <웃음> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So. yes. Uh, I think uh, you know some tea is excellent, and uh, this is uh, the very nice result. And uh, mm. Professor Ju and Professor Kim, and uh, he is a very nice surgeon, have a lot of experience. And uh, this is this is our routine tra transepical procedure. Mm. Patient is okay, okay. and mm. I think the result is huh? very nice. Okay, then. Very I nice. I think it's uh, the okay, really nice and yeah. yeah. the, the uh, real power yeah. of the asymmetric yeah. center. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Great, oh, okay. <laughs> Great uh -huh. outcome here. Okay. okay. Thank, nice you. Thank you.